Hello and welcome to a brand new series of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me Craig Barton. Yes, thanks to overwhelming public demand, thanks mum, I'm pleased to say that I'm back with a brand new series. Every Sunday I'll be picking out a resource that's been uploaded by the kind, talented and generous users of the TES website and I'll be recording a short little video showcasing the result, but uh, the resource sorry, but more importantly looking at how you might use it in a classroom context. And I'm so pleased to be back because over the last 12 months or so the quality of resources that have been uploaded to the TES website it's frightening. It's like some kind of joke. And every weekend when I stumble upon one of these resources, I'm just so excited to use it in my own classroom. And also, I'm just, I just want to share it with, with people because I, I hate nothing more than an absolute quality and gem of a, of a resource going unseen. So every Sunday, tune in and hopefully I'll uncover some classics for you that will go down an absolute storm in your classroom. And Seeing as it's a brand new series, I wanted to make sure I started with an absolute classic and I had no trouble whatsoever finding them. The only problem was trying to decide which one to start with. And I've gone with this one by uh, Damien Watson, one of my favourite uh, resource uploaders. And the reason I've gone with this one is it, it's, and it sounds a bit arrogant, this maybe, is it actually started with an idea that, that I shared with Damien. But I can't take all the credit here because I, I nicked this idea off Steve Lomax from uh, Kenny's Pouch and Kangaroo Maths fame. And it's a reworking of a classic resource. And that classic resource is Tarsia. And I'm sure most of the people watching this video have used loads of Tarsia as, as I have. And there's hundreds on, on, on the TES and on my own website. For those of you who aren't familiar with Tarsia, it's a jigsaw uh, creating software. like a, And it enables you to create matching activities. So if I just give you a little example, uh, you can just, you, you choose any, you write a question, write the answer that matches it. You write another question, write the answer that matches it and so on. And then by the time you've done it, you've got a load of questions on the left and answers on the right. And then the beauty of the software is it, it jumbles all these up for you and then you can hand that sheet out to your students who can cut out all the pieces and then assemble them together to create a completed jigsaw. And it's a, it's a lovely activity. But when I saw Steve uh, talk at a conference a couple of years ago, he suggested that there was another way of using this. And that's what Damien's gone for here. And I fell in love with it straight away and I've been banging on about it ever since. And it works like this. I'll show you the little PowerPoint Damien's put together. So instead of giving the students the uh, uh, pieces to cut out and stick together, Damien gives them the solution slide like this. And he says, okay, your job is, I've, I've put this jigsaw together, and I, but the problem is I've, I've made a few mistakes. And your job is to find the five mistakes that I've made. So this particular one is about bod mass or bid mass. So you can imagine giving this to your students, and I might just look at this because it's a, a little bit bigger. And instead of the kids having to assemble it together, they're tasked with the job of searching through every single piece, trying to think, have they got that right? Have they got it wrong? And the absolute beauty of this, of course, is that you can cleverly make the mistakes to challenge all the major misconceptions. So let's take this one on the bottom left, for example. Three plus two times five. Now, if you're a kid who doesn't fully follow, no, just doesn't fully know the rules of bod mass, you might think like this. All right, three plus two, that's five. I'm happy with that. Let's times it by five, 25. So I've got it right. But because you, the hunting down for five mistakes, it really gets them thinking and challenging because one of the students may think that that's right, but then go through the rest of the jigsaw and haven't found all the mistakes that they should be. So then they start revisiting it. Let, let's start unpicking it. Let's really get into it. And it's fantastic for promoting group discussion this it goes and it really is it goes down an absolute storm and of course the beauty of this is there's no need for scissors glue or anything like that just print this out and you're good to go i'll tell you another advantage that i found using it this way as well and that's whenever i used to do charles's and tarsies in the so-called traditional way i was never sure how to evidence the progress of it uh, one teacher jill hillett suggested a really nice way of uh, she used to blank out this right hand uh, right hand side of the table and get the kids to when they've matched the jigsaw to, to fill their answers in there and that was fantastic but what I absolutely love about this way doing it this way is that what I get the kids to do is every time they find a mistake so say for example they decide that this bottom left one is a mistake I get them to copy the question in their book I get them to write what the proper answer is and then I get them to put a sentence explaining why 
And not only there is your evidence of what the kids have done in the lesson, so evidence in progress, but we're also getting them to explain things in their own words. So it's great differentiation and it's a high level, higher level thinking skill. So look, I'm absolutely obsessed by this way of doing Tarsia. I'm by no means saying it should replace the traditional way. And in fact, this is only successful if the kids are familiar with how Tarsia works in the first place. But of course, the absolute beauty of it is, it's not just limited to doing bid maths. You can do this for any subject, any topic, year seven, right up to further maths, year 13 students. And I'll tell you the other beauty, you don't have to go away and create these Tarsiers from scratch. Oh no, not at all. As I say, I've uploaded well over, I reckon about 500, 700, something like that onto the TES website. So all you need to do is find one of those on a topic that you like, open up the Tarsier, go to this input screen, and just change some of the answers to address the key misconceptions. So for um, so yeah, exactly what Damien's done here. So the correct answer to this one would be, if my maths is right, maybe uh, 26, uh, eight times three, and then add you two. But Damien's just changed it to 40. It takes about three or four minutes to do, but you can address all the key misconceptions with it. So you can find all of my tardies on TES, just good to go, and a few other users. And the best way to do that is on the, um, TES Maths Collection page, and if you can't find that, I just tend to go, I just tend to Google it these days. So if you just fire up Google and put in TES Maths, and it's that first link that you find there, the teaching resources. And if you go into that, you get um, our little Maths homepage, and just down on the left hand side there, TES Maths Resource Collections. And if you click on that, there's absolutely hundreds of resources that me and the other teachers have put together. And if you scroll down, you'll see there. What's that? Tarsia Resources. So if you give that a little click, and hopefully it'll just move us, uh, my computer's running a tiny bit slow today, but hopefully it will move us slightly down the page. And there we go, a load of Tarsiers there. So you can just take those, download them, adapt them to make them into these find five mistake resources. And then we've got a load of rich um, activities to use with our students. So this is my dream. If you've watched this video and you've liked Damien's resource, try it out with your kids. And then can we can we get a collection of these together? Can we get this Tarsia twist, this Tarsia revolution starting on the TES? Just take some of the Tarsias that are out there, remix them, upload them, give me a shout, perhaps in the comments below to say that you've done this, and we could get hundreds of these up in no time, and then everyone else would have a load of rich, amazing, challenging resources. So if you have any comments, um, or thoughts, or you create a resource, or you just want to say thank you to, to Damien for, for uploading this, then please, please do share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. And stay tuned every Sunday, because I'll be back, unless they take me off the airwaves, with another fresh Maths Resource of the Week. Take care, and bye for now.